Hi, somebody just asked me if I could do a video showing how to set up dual graphics. So um, I'll give it a go and just show people the most important points to take note of. Um, here's the system there running, no um, HD6670, it's on the desk. The most important setting in the BIOS that you have to do is there. In it, display first, on board. If you don't have the onboard display um, set to in it first, then the dual graphics driver won't work because it won't actually pick up the fact that the APU has a graphics uh, core in it. It just won't work. Uh, you need to have that set even if you have the 6670 or discrete graphics card plugged in. Um, if you don't have it set, it just won't see it. So anyway, that's the most important setting. I'm not going to get into all the overclocking stuff because that's entirely dependent on what memory you've got, what latency timings it has, etc. and that's going to vary between everybody. But that one setting there, in it display first, on board, um, I'll show you the choices, you have PCI slot, on board, PEG, PEG1, etc. Um, that is the most important thing of it. So anyway, uh, I'm going to exit out of that, if I can. <laughs> Sorry, there we go. So wait for it to boot up. Shouldn't be too long. Um, there you go, it's just gone past the bio screen. Loading up. Oh, I'm going to turn that so it doesn't shine in it quite so much. So there we go. So right now, uh, it's simply running on the APU as the graphics output. Um, as I say, there's no other discrete card in it. Just wait for it to boot into Windows. There we go. Just log in. Oh, finger trouble. Can't spell my own password. There we go. So they are just at the standard desktop. Um, that's purely running on the APU. So you need to get it into that state first, just running on the APU with it as being the first display device initialized. Um, if I right click the screen you'll see, let me get it somewhere you can see it. Uh, there is no AMD control center there, there are no other drivers running, that's literally just the um, standard Windows 7 drivers that are running it as just a pure VGA device. So the next step is to load the ATI Catalyst 11.8 drivers, um, which will take a few minutes. Um, so I'm going to stop here and then start again when I've got those loaded. But that's all you need to do next is just load up the drivers. Okay, so that's done. Um, I just did the express install of the 11.8 drivers and as you can see underneath the performance tab it just says CPU. Um, so it's still running on just the APU. The drivers are all installed and working. So the next step is to actually close it down, the whole machine, and plug in the HD6670. So we'll just do that very quickly, shut it down shouldn't take a minute and there it goes so now we take our HD6670 plug it in to our PCI slot done now at the moment you don't do anything else you literally just plug it in um, you'll see why in a second so now you start again Wait for it to boot up. Ah, I really must get myself a solid state drive. But anyway, there we go, we're still running on the APU. The 6670 at the moment isn't actually doing anything. However, in a moment, when it loads, give it a few moments. 
it does take it fractionally longer because it's obviously detecting the fact that the HD6670 is being plugged in, but it won't actually be doing anything with it yet. And there we go. Yeah, that extra flickering there and coming back to the desktop means that it has actually detected the 6670. But it's not actually enabled yet. This isn't the end of the process. So anyway, uh, do that. Okay. So, as I say, the card's plugged in, but it's not actually working properly yet because there's another step, and that is to right-click on the desktop at some point. There we go. Go to the AMD. <laughs> it's yeah. Still got a few bugs here and there. There we go. Eventually it'll come back. Okay, so you go to the AMD Vision Engine Control Center. Uh, when I can get the mouse to work, that is. My mouse is a bit dodgy. I think the batteries need replacing. Come on. Oh, there we go. And the first time it runs, it will take a few seconds to come up. And over here, if it's working properly, oh, mouse. Sorry, my mouse is playing up here. Over here on the performance tab, you will now have the option, if you can see that there, of AMD Crossfire, because it now knows that the card's plugged in. So you click on that, and you get that box that says Enable Crossfire. So you click it and then you get that box and if you read it it says please ensure that a monitor is connected to your crossfire compatible display um, which as I'm actually using the display on the APU at the moment is a bit tricky however what I found does work is you leave you leave it on that dialog box unplug your HDMI from the motherboard and plug it in the HD6670. Okay, so now it's coming out of the graphics card, and then you just press enter. Ah, and then it comes up and says, We have detected a link failure. So you say, Try that again. The screen will go blank, it will shuffle around a bit, and then Finally, after a bit of faffing about, you get that. That's the most important bit. Crossfire has now started. So, it is now actually running in Crossfire. The only problem with Crossfire, if I can, I'm not very good doing this with my. Uh, in my left hand actually, I'm right handed. Um, I'll show you the problem with Crossfire. If I shut down the system, obviously it takes a second, but this is why people are probably a little bit confused because if I now go to start it again and leave it plugged into the 6670, so let's just crank it up again, you'll see the problem before you can see the BIOS screen when it started. Now you don't get anything. Um, there's no BIOS screen, there's no indication it's working, um, you get absolutely nothing until it's booted into Windows. So you're probably sat here thinking oh, it's not working. Um, it is, it's just I think there's a bug in the drivers and you literally will not see anything on the screen until you get to the Windows login part. So um, there you go and up it comes but there's absolutely nothing before that so uh, it does seem to be a bit of a bit of a bug in the drivers but if we go back again and double check 
Just make sure. And the AMD Vision Control Center again. Put that there. Oh, mouse, stop it. Just like that. Kick in again. And go back to performance. And now it's detected both cards because you have an extra option here for the 6670 which as you can see I've ramped up to well, as fast as it'll go 900 and 1150 and you have crossfire enabled so that's now running in full dual graphics mode with all the performance enhancements that it gives you um, I haven't actually found another way of doing it that's easier um, like I say it does have some bugs in the drivers that make it, you know, pretty unintuitive to be honest. But AMD say they are working on those. Um, but there you go. That's how you actually get dual graphics working, or at least that's how I get dual graphics working on my system. Um, your mileage may vary depending on what hardware you've got, but that's what seems to work for mine. So there you go. That's how I set it up. Cheers a lot.